in this module we are going to be connecting to either of our instances so to connect to the instance there are many possibilities which you can use to connect to the instance assume you want to connect to the prod instance or to the dev server there are different ways in which you can connect to either of the instances you select this instance phrase after selecting the instance it's worth noting the instance public ip and the instance private ip now to connect to an instance you click here on the connect button so you first select the instance you come and you click on connect and we connect on the instance these are the different things if you're using what they call ec2 instance connect so aws says by the way that connect your instance this is devops my prof server using any of these options you can connect using ec2 instance connect you can connect using ssh sessions manager you can connect using ssh client as well as you can connect using ec2 serial console now by virtue of the current configuration you can connect this instance using ec2 instance connect now for this ec2 instance connect to work you must have your instance in a public subnet so if i want to connect to my instance i can use ec2 instance connect now there's equally another service called aws systems manager which is an advanced service if you configure aws systems manager AWS Systems Manager can give you the possibility to log into or to connect into your servers seamlessly. Now, equally, we have SSH client. You can connect to your server using an SSH client. And you see, for you to connect to your server using an SSH client, you first need to open an SSH client. What are some examples of SSH clients? Let's just take SSH client examples. Let's get some examples of SSH clients. These are some examples. You can even take images. You'll see oh we go back to ssh clients you will see we can use git and ssh so you most widely use they can use putty you can use ssh git bash and all of that so you can use those options to connect to your instance now while we are back here we are still back on an instance so they say open an ssh client either git bash or terminal or putty after opening it you want to locate your private key so they see the key used to launch this instance is devops in mic they even give you a detail on the key that was used i remember this key we downloaded this key if you come back to my download folder you will see the devops in my keypad.pem so they see for you to access it you must locate this key the devops in my keypad.pem and then you run this following commands and you connect your instance using its public ip and this so this is an example of how you should run the command so this is the third case where you can use an ssh client and the last case you can use the ec2 serial console now we are just going to basically use the two options for now which is the ec2 instance connect and the ssh client so to connect to the instance phase you can use ec2 instance connect when you select ec2 instance connect if the instance is in the public subnet you click on connect it should open a new tab like you see it is opening a new tab where you can directly access that server using this instance connect and for this instance connect to be possible on your ec2 instance security group so let's come to the ec2 instance security group you can click here on security and you scroll down if you see the security group here for you to be able to connect to the instance using this web browser your ec2 instance must have port 80 open in its security group it must have port 80 open in this case port 80 is open and you come here to the ec2 instance you see it has been able to connect to the instance amazon linux 2023 if you hit pwd or if you do pwd here you see you are currently in the home ec2 user you can now start running any configuration command which you might possibly want to do within this server for example let's say you can ping google.com first to be sure that you have access to the internet so you can ping google.com if you ping google.com you see if you have access so you can see we have access to the internet because we are pinging google and we are getting feedback so that's the first option you can ping google.com if you want to update this server you can do sudo yum update and this should update the server you see there is currently nothing to do so we have gotten into the server with ssh into the server and we can now run our commands if you want to install some tool let's say you want to install git you can do sudo yum install git it will start running the configuration files to install git they'll ask you the total size is 34 megabyte is it okay with you if you take yes and hit enter you see the installation is running and if the installation runs completely you should be able to have git installed so if you do git dash dash version you see we have installed git the git version is 2.4.40.1 you see we have installed git and summarily you can see that we are here this is the instance public ip and this is the instance private ip so this is the first way through which you can connect to an instance using the ec instance connect 
the AWS says this is not the most reliable or most secure way to get into an instance. Now, for you to get into an instance, alternatively, once we selected our DevOps in my prod server, you click on connect. We have used the EC2 instance connect first to connect to the instance. For our second use case, we are going to be using the SSH client to connect to the instance. So we select SSH client. When you select SSH client, you need to open your SSH client. In my case, since I'm using a Mac, I'll be using terminal. So I'll click on my terminal to open my terminal. Now my terminal is open. If you are using Windows, you can open your Git bash or if you are using Windows as well, you can see open your CMD. So when you open the terminal, you want to increase the size, you can press Ctrl plus the plus key in your keyboard. You can increase the size. Now AWS says that you must locate the file which has your key pair. If I come back here and do PWD, I'm currently in the user user but this is where my key pair is found under the download directory so for me to be able to SSH into that server i need to, to cd or move into this download directory where my key pair is stored so that is the most important thing you must move to the directory which has your key pair and if you move to the directory which has your key pair you'll be able to do the ssh command so for me to move to that directory is found in my desktop so i'll do cd cd desktop and it should take me to my desktop but if you look here the key pair is rather found in the download so let's cd back i'll cd back and go rather to the download where the key pair is found so cd downloads and i hit enter if i do pwd you'll see that i'm under users user downloads means i'm currently in the download folder now for me to ssh into the server AWS says that run the command chmod 400 key pair this so i'll copy this command i'll copy it using these two rectangles i'll come back here i right click and i'll paste so i'll, I'll paste the command chmod 400 devops with mic.keypair.pem and i'll hit enter that's the first command the second command aws says that you should copy the command ssh devops with my keypair.pem so i'll copy this second command ssh devops my keypair.pem i'll come back to this instance and i'll paste when i paste it you see they say ssh dash i devops with my keypair.pem ec2 user and then the private or the public ip of the instance once you do that and you hit enter, you should be able to have some other configuration. They say the authenticity of the host can't be established using this. This is known by any other files. Are you sure you want to connect to the host? I'll take yes. I'll type yes. So when you see this pop up, you type yes. And when you type yes, if you successfully have the right configuration, you should be able to get into the server. So you see we are inside the Amazon Linux server and if you check the history of our previous commands just to be sure that we're on the same server if you type history if you type history you will see that this is the first time we are running a command history but if you do now a, a, a git dash dash version you will see that git is already installed in this computer because in this our previous use case we we're able to access the terminal of our virtual server using the web browser on port 80 but in this case we can do the same thing using port 22 and when you access this web server using port 22 you can then go ahead to do other configurations you can ping certain ip addresses you can clone certain resources and all that wealth power so that's basically how you can make use of the amazon linux tool and with this you will be able to create an ubuntu and a linux server alike so in our next module we are going to focus on managing roles and permissions